awesome turtle dove. Hey everybody, welcome back to Colin's Crazy Creatures. This is my friend, Zach. Hi. I wanted Zach to be in one of my videos and he's one of my bestest friends and also one of my neighbors. This is an American toad. Zach is also holding an American toad. Every year, dozens of toads get either stuck into the window well. I have to rescue them from the skimmers or they just run on the driveway whenever it rains. And I like toads so much that I want a place to put them. Do you like toads, toads too, Zach? Yes, I love toads. So, my dad bought me this 300 gallon Rubbermaid stock tank. Stock tanks are usually used to give water to large livestock, but with a little bit of materials, we're gonna turn it into the totally awesome toad tub. First, we're gonna get some mulch. We're at this mulch pile and we're gonna use this tractor to lift up mulch and put it into the tub. also added rocks and we also got bark from near the mulch pile and we're gonna lean it against rocks or just put it on the mulch and while we were collecting bark we found a garter snake we found this very large garter snake it's the largest garter snake we ever found but since we already did four garter snake videos we're not gonna do a video on him and we can't put them in there because garter snakes will eat toads. We also bought plants to make the totally awesome toad tub look nicer. And these plants are also tortoise friendly because we're gonna put Fluffy, my Russian tortoise, in here for days out. And he can nom on the plants because they're tortoise friendly. The large broadleaf green plants are basil the small broadleafed green plants are impatiens, and the other plant with white flowers are begonias. We turn this plastic container into a pond by filling it up with water and putting bricks in it, and then we burrowed it into the ground to make it a pond. This stock tank also has a drain. Even though the mulch will soak up most of the water when it rains, it might get too full and the plants might drown. So, we have a drain to drain out all the water, and we always keep it a little bit loose so water will gradually drain out over time. Now, we're gonna introduce the toads into the totally awesome toad tub. We'll start with the smallest. Now, I'm going to put mine in. Finally, our third toad. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and see you next time on Collins Crazy Creatures. Now we're gonna let him go back where we got him.